What's up guys, this is the Brethren and I am back to continue the my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, we have had a few pretty major battles against the Austrians. We lost Sir John Moore. So we are continuing on our drive against the Russian dogs into the trees. And yes, let's prepare to kill Georg Engelbrecht, Engel? Engelbrecht and Oskar Müller. Sorry Austrian army, you're done for. Because target, and they open up uh, a route to the Prussian territories in Romania. So we could, and I'm always going to refer to countries in their modern context. Ooh, so my howitzers, yeah, my howitzers get behind the get behind the reverse of the slope. My guns take position on the road. Have a whole, let's have all my red coats form the left. That's way too many reserves. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Yeah, but if ours misfire, so will the bad guys. Good. And the right flank is going to be held by British and Dutch line infantry. This is the road, it's the high ground for drainage purposes. Sharpshooters don't yet have a role, so stay put. Although you could advance up. Okay, but you stay there. Take the initiative in battle by making maneuvers the enemy must respond to. Yes. This is true. But to be honest, the enemy has no maneuvers. They must come to us, because they know. If they do not, then we will destroy them at range. Although, to be honest, I think I might just advance up my infantry anyway. Good stuff. The British and Dutch take up an associated position. Sharpshooters don't really have a role, so just stay there. Let's go back to playing normal speed, actually, for now. Things can quickly get out of your control if you're always triple speeding it. Let's turn five more off. Pants up, my general. Okay, now I might triple speed it. You guys run, so you're not as much risk at not as much at risk from the artillery. A glorious These guys, victory, sir, whoop, is soon to you be guys barrage, and then let's watch them break upon our lines and just absolutely fail the Russian dogs. We have no cavalry to chase them down, so that is worthy of note. Let's put the 106th here, ready to deform a defensive square. Okay, plate. General is not having it. He is not going to be shamed. He's going to die on the battlefield. At least one of them wants to. Are you going to follow your king? Your commander in chief? Ulans? General's fled the field. I'm going to take pot shots into the edge of the horse, but I suspect. Oh, yeah, our square is broken. Okay, you guys get involved. Shooting the absolute hell. Oh, the generals caused them to get morale bonuses. Rallied, then you'd be useful then. But... Go and engage, everyone engage on foot. Pull them from their saddles. Okay, let's fold this wing in. 
You want to charge my British Dutch? Oh god! The head of the latter column has just been decimated. They may wish to advance. That would be a poor decision. Let's get these infantry into the fight with their muskets. These guys want to advance up into the face of my British Dutch line infantry. From stray musket fire. Yes. Probably put my skirmishes up here actually and fire over the heads of my men. Routed. The rye is broken. So let's capture this ridge line on the centre. And let's get ready to wrap troops around the flanks. You men did not think about your conditions, simply. German fusiliers. German fusiliers? Prussians fighting for the Austrian state. You scam. Okay, you two go off the general staff. I feel my artillery is now becoming a hindrance. Let's bring my general into the mix. Because I believe this is the army that has replaced Sir John, John Moore. So it would be fitting we their general, sir. Now they must if, break. Aha, if some of their men have actually come back. Actually, they're coming back across the board. Sorry, General, I'm not attached to you yet, so if you die in this charge... Good. Let's continue... Because, like I said, I want to get my get my general some spares. Right now, he's a three-star commander. He's just, well, he's, he's just basic. He's got a competency, but that's it. He's not got... He's not particularly good. He's not necessarily brave. hasn't got lots of cool traits. So, my hope is that by getting... I'm sure it's wins. Wins will count to his general experience. But I like to think that kills may also count. Like I'm not bothered about finishing units, I just want to get chevrons. I could probably charge them all into there, but I suspect they will probably rout before too long. Well, maybe a bit of time. We've got another general. Well, he got a star, so I'm not sure if he's, that means he's rallying or he's upskilled okay it's time for general merry-go-round as you do all your micro to chase down I think generally the algorithm's not that bad just that sometimes it needs a bit of a bit of a kick in the ass so the last guy there he is the last of the German fusiliers surprised he's not dropped his weapon in his pack you also get a, a little like a top hat a second ago close victory indeed I think not I mean 500 men loss isn't nothing but Salam, Austria. Let's fall back to the trees to get some replenishment. Everyone's in strategic positions readying for the advance to Warsaw. Königsberg Garrison is being rebuilt. Colin Garrison is growing in strength. I have this force attacking at Croatia. A large army. Crew general ready to put on and garrison this bridge to face off against the Russians. 
No commanders, two turns. Okay, so just keep recruiting. Two houses. Get some nine pounders. Black Brunswick. We'll get some sharpshooters and get. So if I lost a unit of Black Brunswickers, it seems as though I have. And get some sharpshooters, Swiss Jaeger as well. Move these armies into position. Yeah, oh, you can't. Oh, it doesn't want me to actually hit Budapest. Okay, so go here. If they, hopefully, if this tree, this guy advances across the river, then you can intercept. I think things are, things are going well. I need to check. Sanity check. The Papal States. Yes, they do hate me. So, they may declare at the drop of a hat. Uh, yes, we do also have William de Dornberg sieging the troops in Munich. And I don't want to attack because it's a fort and I've had my fingers burned. So I can't recruit artillery in Innsbruck, but let's get them to the into Milan. Okay, I think everything's... You're blockading a port that no longer needs to be blockaded, so you will probably go... here. Hold this position. And let's build... A couple more units of foot, just to add to the Copenhagen garrisons. If they declare on me, they might be straight over the gap. If the navy can be mine. I might not beat this navy up here, but... Let's get an admiral. Thomas Cochrane, you're the chap for me. Good lad. Okay, so I think... I'm trying to remember what the best move is. Lots of moves. You can probably hit. You can probably hit. Well, they can't go anywhere. If they do, they'll hit. Aaron Albertson will move out. Although he's got no. He also needs a general. Fensibles? Why have you got fensibles? It's in the turn. See what happens. Spies are moving into position. War troops being recruited in the England. So eventually, I'm going to have to declare on the the, the Russians. Oh, the Austrians are sallying out of Munich. By guessing from the damage we've already. F oh, this might this is during my original assault. Yeah. Um. To this one. Just want to fight. Fight a proper. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to bring in Gerhard von Blucher into the fight as well as this force outside Warsaw, which is very troop heavy. Wow. Let's fight. This is what I was holding out for. Not fighting a. You know, the. the <laughs> destroying the remnants of the Munich garrison. Engaging someone like Blucher trying to cross the river. So here's one ford, and the bridge is to the east. So let us use. Okay, so I might have two units of artillery set up like that to cover the bridge. I'm not going to need artillery to cover the ford. I'm probably going to have these deployed like this, facing outwards, ready to engage any artillery that comes to join the field. Each side can get a howitzer unit. Well, howitzer unit is probably more useful at the ford. So, 
the Eurasians afoot with some cold stream to cover the bridge, just in case they come through in force. Then we can probably have a regiment afoot. So these guys at the front, the forefront, actually I may as well, to be honest, actually I may as well deploy them properly as they're all in my deployment zone. So my intention with the infantry is to deploy them such that they have a bit of chance to actually deploy off of the bridge. So basically as they spill out into this area it becomes more of a hunting ground. And the foot unit holds back ready to act as a reserve. So then over on this bridge, this what well, this original box, I'll have the Conic Rangers ready as a reserve. Then let's deploy the riflemen like this to skirmish across the river troops get into position and the rifles will change actually mm, I'd deploy you like this a bit so the fire by rank is a bit less useful I do get my riflemen in two units of cavalry to cover the ford one unit of cavalry over to cover the bridge jump at the ford You are limber. Ready. So this unit that's not doing anything, not doing anything specifically, engaging counter battery. Oh, holy moly. The infantry heavy units coming from the south. Coming from my side of the river. I must have completely missed which unit it was. Well like the true the true army. All my cavalry. Get back. redeploy my howitzers to be honest let's redeploy you guys horse guard dragoons hussars dragoons lancers want to group my cavalry and then we shall deploy you into the fray and frustratingly their force here does not want to wait so we will be crossing the bridge here these men need to try clear out the far side in advance of Okay. Throw in our cavalry. Get my rifles to deploy stakes. Deploy my dragoons against the hussars. Come on, attempt to cross the bridge, you swines. It could decide the battle. So I'm a Rofman deploying stakes.
Hopefully getting into a position to engage their, their cavalry. Rallying spy on my men. So my troops that are crossing the bridge. We've got expert marksmanship. Halt. All of you engage this unit of lancers. Okay, I can hear the dragoons coming in. So they're beginning to force their way across the bridge. Which case you run up to engage their artillery, you guys run. Good, engage the last cavalry unit. Spy your men. You can actually get some good shots off on them. As you can see where they, their cavalry is, it's all on this side, mostly. So even though my men will miss occasionally. So we're actually missing potentially the funnest bit of the battle. Yeah, it's coming across. So they are trying to force a river crossing, so you need to go and dismantle their artillery rapidly. You kill the lancers. The general, get out of the way. The river crossing may actually work. Charge the musketeers. You do that. You get back here. General is under attack. No, he's under attack. I need these guys to hop foot it rapidly across the river. These men need to charge across the river. You need to engage in Our combat. Running, I can, I'm sure they are. Damn, the Prussians may actually do a good job. Do a good job of this. A rebalance maybe too much in favour of trying to protect the rear. We 
I'm not going to manage to get rid of their... We're not going to manage to get rid of their general because they've charged a felt Jäger, so felt Jäger Sophia in the way. Bring back our cavalry. Don't worry about our infantry. You may as well just set up, get ready to, to attack what's going to inevitably come our way. Not yet, they're not. General's been killed. Luke is in here somewhere, so if we can kill him, then we'll even, it's even the score somewhere. Whether or not that would make a difference, I don't know. General wounded, wounded is he? Can you can engage them? Okay, now we've got the very sticky position of having to. Is general. No, wait a minute. This this could be a golden opportunity. You you and Limber cross back over the bridge. Cross back over the ford. You guys just try to get over the way. You guys limbered up. Our men are running, sir. Leg it. All of you. Run. Back over this side of the bridge. Well, I'll tell you who's going to die, so I may as well form up a gun line that can fire onto the troops at the bridge. This is our main hope, I believe. Deploy our troops. Hope our massed volleys are enough to stop them. Hey, our riflemen are still here. I believe this is our best shot. Let's go. 
Run rifles, run! If the houses could make it, that'd be great, but I think they are going to get caught up in the crossfire. Swiss Grandes have finally found them. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest. They cannot rest. There is no time to rest. Oh, wow! I was going to say, where's that come from? This could work. Rifles are routed. But we withheld them at the river. I mean, the artillery must help. Cross the river, my friend. Well, we have safely managed to secure a battery of howitzers. Let's redeploy my artillery, or well, this artillery anyway, here, to face more directly to the infantry that's advancing at them. So all this mass of infantry that's all broken, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of it came back. I'd love it if the 113th came back. Because it looks like they are sending troops to come and deal with my artillery. ready to pick off this unit so let's do this unlimber my howitzer and let's get him to work Keeping on the howitzer unit is more luck than I could have imagined. But I do not think I'm about to cross the river. Not yet. So I might speed up time, let them reform. Well, it looks like the 29th may actually decide and attempt a crossing. They are going for my guns, which is upsetting, but didn't really have a choice. I couldn't get them to, if the howitzers couldn't get to the bridge in time, then they definitely weren't. Keep you guys barraging. How far are you out of Canis to shot range? They presented me opportunity where I may. If the Grenadiers weren't there.
We may lose our guns, but we will take many Prussian dogs with us. Especially if they allow us to allow us the honor of retreating first. <laughs> well, uh, we allow them the honor of retreating first. This flanking unit, the 47th, will do the job. Yes, sir. We can push back the unit of grenadiers. Men are running for <laughs> are they really? Come on, I would have allowed you to escape. Okay. Come on, get that time at kick. Over. Come on, female. Our men are running for one last blast. So there you go. There goes our, our final artillery. both my cavalry to put them both across the river and knock out their artillery Brunswick sharpshooters are causing the rout of the ninth of the of my 95th regiment Good, and the final infantry mass is coming my way. I suspect some of them may be diverted to deal with my cavalry. However, I feel that it will be worth the risk. It will be worth the loss of my cavalry, because this artillery is the biggest risk to my men. So much so, I want to keep attacking them, even while they're routed, to get them to shatter. Excellent. Keep my cavalry moving. Can we to specifically focus on the Brunswickers? came back but here we go keep the artillery fire going Brunswick is a broken which is perfect they're still routing what do you do do you cross the river to kill us? You guys have been engaged by the 105th. Musketeers are routing. Some of them are anyway. Let's get my rifles to the top of the hill. Dare you attempt to crossing? Hit that first line infantry unit because they are very strong. We depend we are depending on a massed firepower. I think it might be enough. Send them to chase down some broken units. 
keep my cavalry away. Good. Brunswick is routed. Well, it did route anyway. Coward impressions. Cross the river. Artillery has just done the absolute business. Uh, the Brunswickers. Let's come on, riflemen. Advance down the hill and harass. Weakened 15th Hussars will continue to slaughter the enemy past our leftover guns. The 8th Light Horse will wait. And the Light Horse will wait over here. Our artillery will engage. The last remaining musketeer unit. Just about to creep into firing range from the 111. You can't. I've not even turned for it. Long for you. There we go, lads. It's going to us to engage, and also my rifles firing at max range. Everyone else, commit to the slaughter. And that's it. Well, apart from this unit, it's about to return. However, I fear that their return will be short lived. You chase them down, you chase them down. Impression that a slaughter trying to cross the bridge. Cross the river. Look how many lines are look how many units units that they're getting into range of now. And so the war goes. Whew. I think I might end the battle there because I'm a bit I'm a bit fatigued myself. Pyrrhic victory, it was pretty Pyrrhic. Um, that army has slightly more nuanced. Um, but I think it's not too bad, actually. It's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> so if we get attacked, we're immediately retreating. Well, that army is anyway. The, the road to Warsaw from the other direction is open. My intention to draw them into a river battle has succeeded, succeeded with an asterisk. Like, I thought I was going to lose there. Whew. I need to keep in mind what my objective is. I can't remember what the deadline is. I think it's 1812. My final objective is I have to, I have to have captured my regions by. I don't know I'm a good way along, but I don't want to <laughs> screw it up right at the end. So. Successful mission objectives. 20 more towns by late December. It's got about three years to capture 20 more towns. It's definitely, definitely possible. So let's take you. Fall back just up the hill, back to Konigsberg. Although you're not, you're not replenishing, you have no suitable commands. Okay, let's do this. Michael Stowell's army will take position. This army will fall back. Henry Paget is here. Frederick Adam is here. You're almost, you're not that far off of being replenished. So if I attack him, 
Will that draw in the garrison? Victory! Slaughter. Attacking Four. general for Frederick Adam. Good stuff, but it also means Henry Paget can storm across the bridge and attack Warsaw. But I think that's going to be a battle for the next part, because that river battle, yeesh, brought me right over my time limit. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the capture of Warsaw and Greater Poland. And, very quickly, the last, the last frontier Prussian town. I have to drive to the southeast. So the next battles will probably be Zagreb and Croatia. So open up the front, down into the Balkans, Transylvania, Bucharest, and then... Moldova, then eventually form a front line against Russia, where if I have to capture 20 towns, that's one, two, three. Assume we capture Russia, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I need to declare war on France, Russia, so I'll probably need to take Switzerland, though, and Munich. But I'm still going to be at about 10 towns into Russia, and I'd like to take Moscow if I could, so maybe focus. Well, I will take Moscow. That's what I want. Now I've re realised I think I can get there. I think. I'm probably going to be liberating towns on the way. Um, but I may liberate Poland. Because we've got Königsberg to the north. Um, but yes. In the next episode, we will attack Warsaw and defeat Lothar Salter, who's looking at us pretty cockeyed. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you next time.